passion. Um, a strong and barely controllable emotion according to the dictionary. And, uh, to me, passion is really just kind of contagious. Um, it's a contagious thing and I, I feel like when you walk on this earth without a passion, then there's, there's really no driving force to to have your motivation and your work. You know, and uh, you know, I love what I do, I, I value what I do, and, and because of that and because it's my passion, I'm able to persuade others to love uh, what I do and and make my passion contagious to others. So if you love something so much, um, if you hold it dear, then others can help, but uh, can't help but respect it. And maybe even come and love it too. So find that passion and just take off with it. old cliche that says once you've seen how sausage is made you can never really enjoy it the same way again meaning that it's a lot of work and kind of a messy process and there are those who will say the same thing about television I try to do a dress rehearsal have everybody you know on point you don't realize how much is going on behind the scenes when you're watching the news or any sports production for the camera guys to go over their different angles and for the switcher and everything like that you don't realize how many people are putting that production together it's honestly amazing i'm michael moliterno today we'll follow some students through the process in the new YSU. Hello everyone, my name is Lincoln Williams alongside with John Chirali, Mike Jaskowski, having some fun here on the first ever Penguin kickoff. Lincoln Williams watches the debut episode of the Penguin kickoff he and his crew produced for YSU football's home opener. I think we're, we're uh, in a good place, but the, as you know, there's always room for improvement. We got you covered for everything you need to know on the Penguin Rundown. Williams is also one of the producers of the Penguin Rundown, a student-run sports show that can be seen on the YSU Sports YouTube channel. The Gwens are set to face off against Elon tomorrow at 7 p.m. We're trying to do a preview before the actual game. And putting it together is a lot more involved than you might think. The process starts with a pre-production meeting. We're writing script today. We're going to get down our rundown so we know we need to do this, that, and the third. So then in a couple days, we're actually going to be doing uh, like a dress rehearsal. We still need video board? Yeah. Need Adjunct need. faculty member Kevin Davis helps oversee the production. Students are in charge of basically everything with planning, editing highlights, editing player profiles, editing interviews, and all that stuff. Good turnout today? This is a good turnout today. Right now, it's pretty much purely volunteer. They come because they want to get involved, and they know that that hands-on experience is critical to their education. I have students from across the board. I am in TCOM and I'm minoring in journalism. I have some people who are business majors. My major is computer science. I think I have an engineer also. TCOM sports broadcasting major. Pick it up and move it. With pre-production complete, the crew prepares to record. The set is built. Put your hand down. Hosts go over their scripts. First team, all Missouri Valley Football Conference. The audio engineer checks mics. Is that all the way up? And John Chiraldi goes over last minute details. But making sure scripts are ready to go. The director's got all their stuff they need ready to, with graphics and switching. Full screen's in there, we just don't have a lower third. Making sure the talent's ready to go. It's fine, we're gonna be talking about it. Next, we're gonna sum that, fade to black. If it sounds like chaos, that's because it kind of is. <laughs> but it's also a great way for students to get some hands-on experience. I've gotten into working with the teleprompter, writing stories for them, script writing, and then this year looking to do some field reporting. Definitely use the equipment is a top priority. I'm here because it gives me experience for my future career. Um, I thought about sports a little bit, but I mainly want to do like news reporting. I'm going to learn soundboard today with a girl, Margo, and then Chris has taught me a teleprompter. Every Monday we have like script writing for the show. People are looking not just for talent nowadays, they're looking for people who can cut and edit their own stuff, film their own stuff. So you got to be able to do more things at one. I didn't know how much work actually goes into it. Well folks, the wait is over. Football is back in Youngstown, Ohio. YSU Athletics also benefits. We have the Horizon League Men's and Women's, Gol women's Golfers of the Year. Um, not a lot of publicity locally, but because of uh, of the show, they were able to go in, sit down, do an interview. I think we're just at the point where we're finally realizing this is happening and we're going to do it. 
Several alumni of the program have gone on to careers in sports media production, and it's the hope of many of the students here that the Penguin Rundown will be the first clip in the highlight reel of their careers. A lot of expectations this year. Last year was a lot more of seeing what we could do and really testing things out, and now we know what we're about. If you bring the same team mentality as these sports do, it works out completely perfect because everybody's on the same page. We have one goal. And we know what we want to do, so it's a exciting time for a lot of us and really hoping to be the first step in a lot of bigger things to come. We have to create culture. Don't watch TV. Don't read magazines. Don't even listen to NPR. Create your own roadshow. The nexus of space and time where you are now. No matter what sport we have on campus, here at the Penguin Rundown, we got you covered. Women's volleyball, we've got you covered. Football, we got you covered. Track and field, we got you covered. 